In our previous video, we've been looking at various aircraft instruments. Most of these instruments that I've been looking at were analog instruments, also called mechanical instruments. These analog and uh, mechanical instruments have been replaced by multifunctional display in modern aircraft consisting of CRT, that is cathode ray tubes, and uh, LCDs, liquid crystal display. In a what is called a glass cockpit. This multifunctional display not only display the information that was previously displayed by the analog or mechanical indicators, but in addition to that information, these multifunctional display display information such as operational history, uh, operational checklists, systems faults, any malfunction on an aircraft system, corrective action and any performance reduction on a particular aircraft system. In this video today, we are going to be focusing on this modern aircraft display in what is called an electronic instrument system. So welcome and enjoy the video. Analog instrument systems on an aircraft are as shown in this picture. We can see we have uh, flight instruments that are mechanical on both sides, on the captain's and the first officer's side, and we also have engine instruments here in the center and some systems instruments even on the overhead panel. These instruments have been replaced on a modern aircraft in what is called as an electronic instrument system. As you can see in the following picture, we have an electronic instrument system also called glass cockpit. The electronic instrument system is made up of two systems. Firstly, we have the electronic flight instrument systems, IFIS, and secondly, we have the ICAS on some aircraft, also called ICAM on some other aircraft. The ICAS is engine indicating and crew alerting system, and the ICAM is electronic centralized aircraft monitoring system. So these two systems make what is called, or what is known as an electronic instrument system that are going to focus in this video. To go further, we take an Airbus A320 as an example, enabled to illustrate these systems that are found on a modern aircraft. The electronic instrument system, as we said, is made of IFIS and ICAM. The IFIS consists of the flight instruments and the navigational instruments. And these instruments consist of two displays. The two displays on the captain's side and there are also two displays on the first officer's side. So the EFIS makes a total of four displays on the A320. Two displays on the captain's side and two displays on the first officer's side. Then the second system which is the ICAS or ICAM is made up of two displays. One is called uh, the engine and warning display, and the second one is called the system display. The total number of displays that are found on an electronic instrument system on an A320 is six. An A320 is made up of six CRT displays, and uh, these displays are, as we have mentioned, two if it's for the captain, two if it's display for the first officer, and two display for the ECAM system. As you can see on this diagram, we see the two displays for the captain. We have one PFD and we have one navigational display. On the first officer side, we also have one PFD, primary flight display, and navigational display. The ECAM, we have one on top and, and, and one on the bottom. The, the top one is called engine and warning display, and the second one is called the system display. So these are the displays that are found on an electronic instrument system on A320. This is also another diagram that illustrates how this display works. We have the PFD and the navigational display. We also have the ECAM, uh, which has a top display, engine and warning display, and the bottom display, which is the system display. 
So we have uh, three display management computer on an A320, one that drives uh, the PFD and ND on the captain's side and the engine and warning display. And then the second uh, DMC drives the navigational display, the PFD on the first officer side, as well as the bottom ECAM, which is the system display. We'll start by looking at the primary flight display. The primary flight display displays the pitch attitude of an aircraft as well as the roll attitude of an aircraft. We also have uh, airspeed indication on this uh, uh, left side of the PFD. We have altitude information on the right side of the PFD. There is also a vertical speed indicator that indicates the rate of climb or rate of descent of an aircraft on this right side. Also, we have uh, the information about the heading of an aircraft displayed at the bottom here and also the track that the aircraft is following. There is also at the top what is called as an FMA, Flight Mode Annunciator, and this section only displays if the autopilot is engaged, which autopilot is engaged, if the auto throttle is engaged or not. The flight mode annunciator also display the various modes of the autopilot. So these are the displays that are found on the primary flight display. We go to the navigational display. The navigational display displays the information such as ground speed and the true airspeed at the very top here you can see. The navigational display also gives information about the wind direction. The navigational display also gives information regarding the heading of the aircraft and the track of the aircraft. It also gives information such as lateral deviation of the aircraft. There's also various navigational aids that are given or that are indicated on the navigational display. As you can see from the bottom here, we have uh, VOR1 information and VOR2 information given or being displayed on this navigational display. The navigational display also gives information about the weather. The weather radar information on an A320 is displayed the navigational display. So those are the typical display that are found on the navigational display of an A320. We go to the ECAM system, which is the second system that makes part of the electronic instrument system. The ECAM is made up of the engine warning display and uh, the system display. The engine warning display, as you can see in this picture, shows the primary uh, parameters of the engine. We have the engine pressure ratio, we have the exhaust gas temperature, which is our second uh, information displayed on the engine and warning display. We also have N1 indication here as the third uh, indication on the engine and warning display. In information also such as uh, fuel flow and the N2 is also indicated on the engine and warning display. Sluts and flaps position is also indicated here on the engine and warning display or on the ECAM's upper display. Checklists are displayed at the bottom part of the engine and warning display. You remember we've said uh, in addition to the normal information that was previously being displayed on analog instruments, the modern uh, glass cockpit also gives information such as checklists and operational information and malfunctions. So this in, most of this information is displayed here, as you can see on this list. Like for this example, we have a fuel uh, left wing tank low level. We also have a status uh, uh, section of an engine warning display. The status section indicates the status of various systems. Like on this one, there's indication that the pack brake is engaged and uh, the TCAS is standby. 
basically this status section gives us indication of the status of various systems of an aircraft. Next, we look at the ECAM bottom display, which is known as the system display. The system display gives us information on various aircraft systems. A particular system is selected using the ECAM control panel. Once a system is selected, this system will be displayed on the, on the ECAM's bottom display. And this is where the status and the condition of a particular system is monitored. From our previous video, we looked at system display and system indication of an aircraft. So you can look at that video in order to understand how the system display works. Basically, any system that is selected will be indicated or will be displayed on the ECAM's bottom display. The typical systems that are displayed on this bottom display is the hydraulic system, the air conditioning system, the fuel system, pressurization system, among other systems. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you have an amazing day.